All right, welcome, Welty family. Once again, Senator Rodriguez, your instructor here at South Coast Welding Academy, Houston, Texas. For today's video, we have a very special guest, Eli Ryder with Heavy Hitters Tig Rings. All right, Thanks, stay sir. tuned. Thank you. Uh, pleasure to be here today at South Coast Welding Academy. I want to introduce you to the welders and we're going to be having a display uh, how to fill quicker and cap slicker. We'll be welding out some heavy wall welds, some 10 inch carbon steel welds. Uh, we've got Mr. Bryce Woods here from PTS. Mr. Jeremy Blaylock, Homestead G40 welder. Mr. Dallas Decase, Homestead G40 welder. Mr. Paul Theory, a heavy hitter sponsored welder and he's currently a free agent to the highest bidder. going to be utilizing the heavy hitter 250 amp TIG rig with the HH350 head on them. It's a flexible head. As you see, one has the valve on the head and one does not. These heads and TIG rigs are capable of running at 300 plus amps for up to 12 hours a day plus. Today we're going to be welding out a 10 inch carbon steel heavy wall weld in a 5G position. This weld right here is going to be in the 2G position. Pretty good, pretty good size gap in there. You got a little bit of metal to carry in there. How you doing today? Bryce Wood here with Pipe and Turnaround Specialist. Today we're going to weld this 10 inch heavy wall weld, 5G position. I'm going to start out putting a bead in it. Running, I like to run a tight gap. Me running about 160, 165 amps on a bead. I'm going to push it in pretty good, a good eighth, you know, a good eighth inch in. I'm going to turn my heat up to about 245, 255 on a hot pass. I'm going to come across with one good hot pass and I'm going to crank it up a little over 300 amps. And I'm going to run a wide weave across there, making sure I tie in on both sides, making sure not to get any cold lap in front of my wire, and then shoving. Burning, shoving, burning. Leading the pack, baby. Name is Paul Theory. I'm here today representing Heavy Hitter TIG Rigs. I want to ask me to talk a little bit about how I'm going to make this well. Uh, I got a pretty, pretty tight gap. That's what I like on a horizontal well. I can put the wire in there. Don't really have to feed a lot. Just put it in there and just barely, barely push it, walk over it. And just leave a little keyhole every now and then to make sure you're breaking those walls down. But doing it like this, it pretty much goes in pretty slick. After we get the root in it, we're going to drop back and put a good heavy hot pass in it. Get a hot pass, we'll drop down and come back with two, maybe two fillers. I think we should better get it in two fillers, then we'll be ready to cap it. So we got Jeremy Blaylock here on the bottom coming up. Keyhole dripping. Mr. Bryce Woods on the backside, giving him some space. You what, buddy? 115. He's rooting on 215 amps. No, he's good. Bryce Woods is rooting on 215 amps. You got Jeremy Blaylock. What are you rooting on, Blaylock? On 190. They run a real tight gap, about a 16th inch gap. Not only does that allow for you to run hotter whenever you're rooting it, it also requires less filler metal, so that's less time in your process of welding. Over here, Mr. Paul Theory. What are you running on, Paul Theory? Like 185. He's running on 185 amps. Got about a sixteenth of a a sixteenth of a gap right here. So a real tight eighth inch. Something like that. He's just breaking the walls down, keyholing it all the way across. Mr. Dallas McCage back here on the other side. What are you rooting on, Dallas? Oh, about 180. So Dallas is running on about 180 amps. about the same gap, tight eighth inch, loose, loose 16th. How hot you running, Blaylock? Oh, He's beating on 190 right here, coming over the top.
Grandpa? Twenty more. Huh? Twenty more. Twenty more. Twenty more. Putting a hot pass on it, nice and oh, thick. Right As you can see, he's putting plenty of metal in there. Going from side to side. Look deep down inside there. He makes sure that that root solidifies. What he's doing is keeping that tungsten aimed up, making sure to spend some time on the sidewalls. But let it cool in the middle. Let it cool in the middle so as not to blow through your root. How's that rig holding that 300 amps, brother? Man, it's not even hot. Not even hot, huh? It's still cool to the truck. Come on. Woo, he turned some metal on that one. Hey, watch the running back. This is Jeremy Blaylock running on about 300 amps with the heavy hitter 250 rig with the HH 350 head without the valve. So it's an HH 350 head. Carrying a whole lot of metal. Notice as he ties into the sidewalls, doesn't spend too much time on the center. Allows that filler metal to kind of flow in there nice and smooth and washes it across. Yeah, and notice he does not walk the cup, all freehand. All these wells we're making here today are all freehand. Mr. Jeremy Blaylock, put that three bead cap on at 185.
come out here today. We did a 2G heavy wall carbon steel weld, 5G carbon steel heavy wall weld. Uh, fills them up quicker, cap them slicker. Uh, on behalf of heavy hitters, I want to say thank you for having us out here. I want to give a special shout out to Homestead for the support. I want to give a special shout out to PTS, uh, my man Bryce Woods and John Barton. Coming out here from Alabama, supporting us. Uh, thank you very much, South Coast. Definitely, definitely. Yes, sir. And I'd like to give a shout out to Heavy Hitter T Rig for buying the best quality rig. And uh, thanks for South Coast for having us here. And uh, represent. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. No problem, bro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much for coming over. All right, please like, comment, subscribe, and check out heavyhitters, tigrigs.com.